812. Um, we just got up to use the bathroom a couple of minutes ago. About to call our moms. Let us let them know that our, my water broke. I had another gush of liquid this morning that was bigger than the one last night. So it's just coming in intervals kind of slowly. Um, as far as any pain is concerned, um, it just feels like like all night I've just been having period cramps, like really light period cramps, um, like how you have in the beginning of your period. And that's right near the bottom abdomen. And that's all I've been experiencing, nothing with the back or anything. So we're all good. I'm just trying to call them and then lay down and get some more rest. I'm still kind of tired. Are these anxious? I'm a little, not anxious in a bad way, but more like, I got that feeling, you know, when you're trying to go to sleep on Christmas Eve. <laughs> As a kid, I kind of got that feeling. And I'm kind of like, ready to do whatever I need to do to help out. <laughs> I'm excited right. about, I'm about excited about at meeting, least this, like, meeting this little guy right here. <laughs> And at least it's not like after a busy full day. At least you I got know. like rest after it's a perfect. Nice it might work out it's the exact way I've been envisioning it. <laughs> like, babe, I think it's go time. Oh you want to um, call your mom? I'm about to call my mom now. Hey, mom. Hey, how's it going? Um, I was I was just letting you know that uh, Tia's water broke. <gasps> what? Yeah. So. Uh, when did that happen? Uh, it first broke around like 3.45 this morning. Okay. And then probably about 30 minutes ago, she had another big gush. Okay. So, uh, we're just in contact with the doula and the midwife. So, you know, we're just, she's try, going to try and get some more rest and just eat something and, and then try and just prepare herself, so. Exciting okay. times. It's almost game time. So I just wanna let you know. So that okay. you you know, you could be praying and uh let Gammy yeah. and them know. Hello. Hey, good morning. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, you would never believe. I thought I was doing so good. Now wake the Lexus took the car, got along the car, got home. Um, I just wanted to let you know that my water broke last night. It's lying. It's lying. No, at about 3.30, it broke. What does it feel like, Tim? I never did it. What does it feel like? It feels <laughs> like, um, it feels like your period comes on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Are you I've been cramping, yes. Yeah, and I had another another gush this morning. Oh. Where it's involuntary, you have no control over it. It's just like it feels like oh, I'm gushing like this I, is gonna I be mean, blood. I, I know because the lady, I never forget a long time ago in reading to my old ladies broke on the abdomen. Yeah. Like she was talking about she was talking about yeah. <laughs> It's a gush, and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm gonna mess up the bed, so I ran, and it was like just coming in the toilet, and I was like, okay. My water broke. And it wasn't like the stuff you see on TV where it gushes and it just goes all over. It started as a trickle. It's still trickling throughout the day, but I've had two like bigger gushes.
you go into labor on average 12 to 24 hours after birth. So really could be at any moment. I'm a ticking time bomb. Dave and I are at Rise and Die. So I'm here, I'm saying, yeah, we're happy. Ready? I, I, even, I, shade, I shade myself up just to meet my boy. You see? Look how good you can have time. So, um, yeah, oh, yeah, I have braids. What about I never, um, I never had braids before, so I'm going to my first time. And I got them for Dash, so I can just focus on him. And not have to worry about doing my hair and not looking crazy. Um, but I like them. What do you guys think? I like them. They came out pretty good. But we're here with Terry, of course. The, the, uh, he's going to be doing the uh, documentary of the birth. We're here with my mummy in love. She came to support. And we're here with Gammy. She's it. Gammy. Say hi, my love. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're waiting on our food. Yeah. I came for the grits, so, but unfortunately, they won't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, yeah. get your mouth ready. Yeah, but obviously, I didn't mean that. Maybe they would have like stall labor or something. <laughs> okay, so we made it back home, and just in the nick of time too, because as we were coming in the door, um, I had a gush of fluid that just came out and on the floor and I was like oh my gosh like it was uncontrollable but if would it happen at the restaurant that would have been so embarrassing so um yeah I had to take care of that but um now I am just going to do some last minute things because I'm still not having any contractions yet or any discomfort other than just a lot of pressure down there but this is where baby dash is going to be sleeping it's bassinet it's the halo bassinet it's thing is awesome it has like a light and it plays music and in utero sounds and a timer for breastfeeding and it's a vibrator um, but these are all the clothes that I've washed that I've got to put away including his bedding so I'm gonna get started on that but his bag is packed his bag is right there underneath there at the foot of the bed and that's my bag and daddy's bag so yeah oh and i know you guys noticed we have moved <laughs> that was one of the things that the changes really that occurred um it's just been a whirlwind of just great stuff happening but we will have another video explaining that um and all that goes with that um to show y'all the house and stuff but we love the house it's absolutely amazing we're bringing dash here um so it's just it's just an awesome feeling to have your own house and your own yard and we lived in the loft before when we owned the loft but a loft style way of life and living is just different than a single family house so i'm happy we're all happy but Time to get started on these clothes. Yeah. So Dave, uh, she said she wants some ice pots. So me and my mom are attempting to make watermelon ice pots from some from some fresh fruit, right, ma? Yeah. Let's do it. So we're gonna pour that in there. We got a little strainer. Yeah. Look at that good old juice right there. I'm gonna sweeten that up with some orange juice. There we go. Uh, it's gonna be on point. Dash. You gonna love this boy. <laughs> See, that's how brilliant things happen. You know, sometimes like your wife about to go into labor. You know what I mean? You start making ice pops and stuff. I think I'm about to start a business. It's gonna be. I go 50/50 with you, mom. It depends on how much work you plan on putting in. You conceptually, you about 25% committed to this right now. Okay, just a cut. Okay, Ma, she ready. 
<laughs> but then you put this thing in, let that thing caramelize. I heard when I said caramelize, not caramelize. Caramelize. Look at that. Get that thing going real tight. Nice and smoky. Then I'm going to chill it. And then I'm going to pour it into these things right here. Check this out right here. Boom. There we go. You can make your own ice pops right here. While Trey was making his pops, I was putting together da, 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 some raspberry leaf tea. It's supposed to help the uterus start to contract. Y'all see kids now. <laughs> I like your video. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, Caruso. Caruso, you on now. What Look. you got to say to the loveys? Oh, say hi to the loveys. Look at this guy. Dude, come on. Don't tell him to come that way. way. The robin is hi, here. Hi, 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 hi. They have to get it in. They have to do to his uh, feet and oh, whatever. Sorry. Okay. All right, well. All right, so this is what the ice pop thing. This is what the container looked like right there. I filled them up to the brim. I'll show y'all one little example because my mom told me to. All right. Y'all see that? Steady hand. Wow. Check me out, check me out. Now they got these little tabs. Next step is just make sure they're even. Good. 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 And you get the rest, you see. Then put it in the freezer until they freeze. So, quick update just from daddy himself. Yeah, that daddy. Oh, he calling me daddy. Tears. She just passed, like, I guess the mucus plug. And, um, still getting some of the fluid. It's still coming. Um, for me, let me tell you how I'm feeling right now. It, I am anxious in a good way. Um, to kind of describe what I've been telling people is I am feeling like, um, uh, a kid on Christmas Eve, right? You know how that felt like. I just want to see what I got. I hope I got what I wanted. You know, that type of thing. But then the flip side of it is then I also feel like I want to make sure that Santa Claus know that I've been good too. And at this time, T is Santa Claus. So I'm trying to make sure he's like, oh, you need this, baby? You need this? What can I do? How can I help? I'm just trying to be a good husband. You know what I mean? Good supportive husband and uh, welcome my son in, right? You know what I mean? So, that's kind of my emotions about the whole thing. Minus the Santa Claus, you know, I don't believe in Santa Claus, but of course you should. Sorry, kids. Um, but that's where we're at right now. I'm excited about it. I think the labor is gonna progress. We're gonna go through tonight. She'll start feeling the contractions. And early in the morning, um, we'll go into active labor. I think we'll have a baby by like noon. Noon tomorrow, noon by two o'clock, something like that, you know? So we'll see. Baby's over here hydrating. This is the best Gatorade ever. <laughs> oh. So we're out here walking. It's berry blast. Rainberry, rainberry. Sorry. What are you doing? It's my, what? <laughs> drinking Gatorade. Are you more excited about drinking no. your Gatorade or are you walking? Walking with a purpose right now. Purpose to bring on this labor since my water is trickling out of me. Well, the amniotic fluid is trickling out of me, and that's what prevents him from infection. So I want labor to pick up because I don't want him to be exposed. Anymore. Yeah. So we're over here walking. Dude's along for the ride, at least for right now, until we drop him off somewhere. But um, yeah, it's almost game time, you know? Are you enjoying the process so far? Can't wait to meet him? Can't meet the, I can't wait to meet you either, but. Expectation to work all females. And we just pray now for a healthy baby who is um, mm -hmm. gorgeous. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good. We're getting all this love and encouragement from our, uh, you know, family and friends. <clears throat> Some more of our friends. He's a midwife. Cool. So we're getting all this love and encouragement from our friends and family. Here's one from uh, Nakota and Sonia. Hey you guys. Hey. I heard you guys 
are delivering. Congratulations. So we wanted to send you a little encouragement. Yep. Tia, make sure to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to do it. That's and try to make bird, sure you're bro. the best cheerleader. Push them out, shove them out, way. Yeah. <laughs> Push them out, shove them out, way. <laughs> Push him out, shove him out, we out. Push him out. <laughs> That's what we learned from Bill Cosby's remarks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all should have did that one. But can't wait to see Baby Dash. Yeah. Dash. Dash. Have fun. Team Dash. Good luck. Oh, that was so Bye. sweet. <laughs> They're so sweet. Thank you. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Love you. Mmm, the goods have arrived. What do we have here? Oh, it's hot too, baby. It's hot, boy. Be uh, what's that? Uh, what's that called? Uh, garlic naan. We doing Indian tonight, baby. Yeah. You got the veggies. They better have my hot sauce. Oh, this thing's super hot, boy. Look at that. And we got the biryani. Ooh, that boy gonna be good tonight. Tell me they got my hot sauce over there. And they got my hot sauce. Hot dog. Hey, this might be the one to bring Dash on, boy. You know, Dad's like that Indian food. So hungry. <laughs> this is gonna taste so good. Can I have one again? Sure. Thank you. About 11.45 at night. Um, a second ago, probably a couple hours ago, we were she was going about every 18 minutes she was experiencing some form of contraction. And um, after speaking with the midwife, it was more about, um, so how do we get this progression going? And what are the choices inside of that? So like we learned in the, in the birthing class that we took, we're gonna start trying some activities like her rolling her hips on the ball. Um, and we're gonna try a couple pressure point techniques, um, some lunges, um, and also um, I think she's gonna start trying to do like the nipple stimulation um, to kind of push this thing along. We've been drinking what, the raspberry leaf tea? Mm -hmm. So she's been drinking the raspberry leaf tea, which is another natural Stimulate. stimulant. Um, because- It helps contract the uterus. Okay. So that's what we're on now. Uh, like I said, it's about 11.45. So we've been at it for what, about 19 hours. Not continuous, but you know, we're kind of anticipating. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and get some rest after she gets it. I'll start it. Where's my phone at? Oh, I'm supposed to be tracking the contractions. No, I can't find my phone. Who wants y'all? So this is the app I've been using to track her contractions. Um, I started over just a second ago to kind of get more consistency. So this app basically has the last contraction, the last hour, and last six hours, which like I said, I just restarted it. You finish? Okay, so I'm gonna stop it. So on this one, her last contraction was about 12 minutes ago and the duration of them it's lasting about 25 seconds at a time so i'm using this to kind of help track progress and um you know some oscillations and stuff with uh, what we're getting but i'm using this app called can y'all see that called full term right there and um that's what it allows you to do. It has some other options too, but right now we're just focused on contractions. So that's what we'll be doing. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So I guess you can come behind me so I won't bend towards you, but she slowly lunges or leans sideways towards the chair so that she bends the knee of the leg on the chair for a slow count of five, then returns to upright. She should continue through the contraction and try lunging in each direction. Okay. So for the next, because I think she said to do this for like, I think she said do four on one side, four on the other side. Yeah. Okay. I just forgot to lean in for five, come back up for five. Well, this is where we're at right now. So, 
we're gonna keep pressing through. Babysitter, on a scale of one to 10, it's like a three. your pain levels are at like a three right now, but you're getting consistent contractions at about eight minutes apart for the last five contractions. Okay. Okay. Mom is doing her last minute preps, getting her stuff. What's she gonna wear in the pool? Or in the tub? I keep saying the pool, babe. You go skinny dipping in the pool. It's an inflatable pool. Well, inflatable pool. I guess I am right. Yes. Um, and we probably need to lay down and try and get some rest before this thing really progresses. So mama can have full energy. Okay. You got this? One of the keys. Gotta stay hydrated. Gatorade has been Betty Betty good to me. And just so y'all know, this is what this guy did while his mama was laboring with his little brother. <laughs> this guy. He can't Sleepy. hang at all. Look at this guy. He's like, please turn the light off. Turn the light off. Y'all tripping. Sleep.